Eye stalk ablation is the removal of one unilateral or both bilateral eye stalks from a crustacean. It is routinely practiced on female shrimps or prawns in almost every marine shrimp maturation or reproduction facility in the world, both research and commercial. The aim of ablation under these circumstances is to stimulate the female shrimp to develop mature ovaries and spawn. Most captive conditions for shrimp cause inhibitions in females that prevent them from developing mature ovaries. Even in conditions where a given species will develop ovaries and spawn in captivity, use of eye stock ablation increases total egg production and increases the percentage of females in a given population that will participate in reproduction. Once females have been subjected to eye stock ablation, complete ovarian development often ensues within as little as 3 to 10 days. The most commonly accepted theory of why eye ablation reduces this inhibition is that a gonad inhibitory hormone, GIH, is produced in the neurosecretory complexes in the eye stock. This hormone occurs in nature in the non-breeding season and is absent or present only in low concentrations during the breeding season. The reluctance of most shrimp to routinely develop mature ovaries in captivity is a function of elevated levels of GIH, and eye stock ablation lowers the high hemolymph titer of GIH. The effect of eye stock ablation is not on a single hormone such as GIH, but rather affects several physiological processes. Besides the GIH evidence, another hypothesis suggests that eye stock ablation also reduces light intensity and thereby induces ovarian maturation. In the banana prawn, Phenoropeneus merguiensis, sin. Peneus merguiensis, dim light favors ovarian maturation and spawning. The exact mechanism of eye stock ablation on the ovarian maturation is not conclusive. It has been reported that in the tiger prawn, Peneus monodon, the eye stocks fully regenerate in less than six months. Effects There are several direct and indirect effects of eye ablation in female shrimps, including Increases total egg production by producing more frequent spawnings, but not larger spawns. Molt cycle duration is shorter. Increases mortality. Deteriorates female condition. In some instances, produces lower hatch rate of eggs. Leads to changes in ovarian color. Increases energetic demands leads to eventual loss in egg quality. Techniques Techniques for eye stock ablation include Pinching the eye stock, usually half to two-thirds down the eye stock. This method may leave an open wound. Slitting one eye with a razor blade, then crushing the eye stock with thumb and index fingernail, beginning one half to two thirds down the eye stock and moving distally until the contents of eyes have been removed. This method, sometimes called enucleation, leaves behind the transparent exoskeleton so that clotting of hemolymph and closure of the wound may occur more rapidly. Cauterizing through the eye stock with either an electrocautery device or an instrument such as a red hot wire or forceps. If performed correctly, this method closes the wound and allows scar tissue to form more readily. A variation of this technique is to use scissors or a sharp blade to sever the eye stock, and then to cauterize the wound. Ligation by tying off the eye stock tightly with surgical or other thread. This method also has the advantage of immediate wound closure. Anesthetic Macrobrachium americanum prawns treated with lignocaine, a local anesthetic in mammals, prior to eye stock ablation show less rubbing, flicking and sheltering than those not given the anesthetic. See also Pain in invertebrates References <laughs>